Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Novos Blovo. That's right, we're back in City Skylines, and everything is going really, really, really good. We got ourselves into a situation at the end of last episode where we were making about five to six grand per week. So what I did was I left the game running, and while it was running, I just took a look around, trimmed up some little bits here and there. For example, I had another fire station here that made all of the industrial buildings upgrade, which is pretty good. And also adding a fire station or two around in an elementary school also brought up the areas of the hammer and the sickle. But this episode, what I want to do is sort out our sewage problem because, oh my god, that is one mean-ass problem. Look at this. Half of the sea is grey. And I didn't even know poo was grey. I always thought it was brown, but sure. Now, I've had an idea. I was kind of inspired by my friend Tom, who's got a way of a very special way of dealing with poo in his city what he's done is he's built like a small lagoon very much like this one or rather maybe it was there to start with where he's put all of his poo and that's where all the sewage goes so what i was thinking of doing was getting the landscaping tools and i don't want to have a whole lagoon like a poo lagoon but how about just like a small pond like a poo pond so we have loads of soil backed up available we've collected from over near um gas promenade so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and cordon off this tiny area here and turn it into a bit of a poo pond. So if I right click and bring the land up, it's not going to be cheap. Actually, no, it is. That's really cheap. All right, bam, look at that. And we're going to raise it up a bit more just to give this area a bit more of a wall so that the poo doesn't leak out into the ocean. Oh, yeah, and this is the perfect little area for us to park all of our poo. That's right, it's the one-stop shop for your feces needs. Oh, thunder and lightning. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a sewage pipe out here, and fingers crossed, well, I'm kind of curious to see what happens when this area fills up with poo. So, there we go. We're going to put a couple of these down. It shouldn't be too expensive. What's the running cost on these? 320 a week. Eh, not too bad. We can still afford to dip into that 5k. And uh, we're going to need to put down power for these guys as well. Bam. Okay, that's fixed. And now we're going to hook it up to the pipes. Like this. Wasn't too expensive. And to save on costs as well, we're going to delete the poo pipes over here. And over time, this bay should clean itself up. Because if you look over at the bay that we polluted to start with, that's over here on the left, this place is almost completely poo-free. Which is great. I mean, it means we can actually kind of start raising the land value around here. Although it's not somewhere that we really kind of want it to be, a super beautiful place. It definitely gives us a way to, uh, to clean up the sea. And we're going to get the uh, bulldozer out, start doing the dirty on destroying these pipelines. Now we're going to have to keep a close eye on the poo pond because I'm worried that all of the poo is going to... Oh no. Oh no, it has! The poo is actually overflowing already. So we're going to have to bring up these walls to stop the, uh, the poo from leaking out. Oh man, I didn't even know that happened. Okay, we can just use the raise tool, I think. To build up this wall. Oh, is this gonna work? Oh god, I hope it does. I hope we don't flood the city with poo now. Okay, that looks alright. Nowhere for this poo to go. <laughs> Just like this. Oh man, I'm, I'm like a, a regular Bob Ross of sewage. Still tries to bleed over the edge there. It's a bit distracting. Has that worked? Oh, it might have worked. You know what? <laughs> I don't think I don't think it actually works. Look, the poo is actually up to the pipes now. So if we give this uh, give this area somewhere for the poo to go, I guess down here. Like that. Maybe this will help fix the flooding problem we have over here. 
Oh, yeah. So the power plant doesn't actually work now because it was flooded. But it looks like it's fixed now. Oh, man, I had no idea. So you do actually have to be careful when you do this whole poo malarkey because it does actually come back to bite you in the butt if you don't give it enough place to, uh, to run free. Well, okay, we learned our lesson there, but we have moved away from uh, pooing up this location over here, and now we're pooing up this location over here. Where are our ocean pumps for the water? Okay, so we have water coming from over here. Let's check the map to see if we actually are going to get poo flowing over there to our intake, because the worst thing that can happen in your city, poo going into the taps. It doesn't actually show which way it's flowing, but if we try and build one of these, this should do. Oh, here we are, yeah, the arrows are coming down here. It looks like there's not much in the way of flow, so it's, oh my god, already this place has become pooed up completely. We have to keep an eye on this, because if the poo gets too close, we're in deep, deep trouble. Deep, deep doo-doo. Now, can we actually buy this square yet? Because that could be a way for us to dam off this area. Now, we're a big city at the moment. 8,400 pop. Climbing on 8,500. But we need to make that last big push towards making ourselves a proper metropolis. Once we get to actual metropolis levels, we can start buying the tiles all around the map, which is a pretty good place to be. Oh, but what are we going to do? Don't like this poo, if I'm being honest. Yeah, no, we can't buy another tile just yet. Maybe I spoke too soon and acted too soon on that poo situation. Hmm. Actually, what if we make this area really, really deep so the poo can just sink down? Let's try that. We've got too much soil, so we're going to have to build up before we can build down. So why not just park some of this dirt over here on this mountain? Probably not going to have to do anything with this anyway later on. Oh man, this is getting expensive. But if we say I can spend about 100 grand on this, that gives us a budget to work with. Now, I wonder what happens if you reach rock bottom, or can you just keep digging all the way to China? Wow, now, actually, I think, because we've got the game speed on super... F Whoa, all these trees actually look terrible. So we might have to delete some of these trees. That's right. I wonder if they, did, they don't just go away by themselves. That's a bit odd. No, I don't think we can actually spend money as quick as we're making it now. I mean, I started this game with 600,000, and we're already up to 800, which is crazy. If we can get it to a million, I don't know what we want to buy for a million, but oh my god. We can actually buy some really cool stuff now. Okay, so we've given ourselves a little bit more room to breathe over here. I do think still making a wall over here will come back to bite us in the ass, because this poo has to have somewhere to go. Hmm... What are our options in terms of building a seawall? What's this? Rocks? No. Water structures. Flood wall? A key? Give waterfronts a nice touch. Can we do that? Does that work? Shoreline required? What about a flood wall? Cannot build on water. Mm. Oh, maybe we could give the um, the water over here a canal to uh, to come out this way, a deep canal. And if we just come over this way, is that going to work? Wow, I think it does. But it's going the wrong way, and this is what happens when poo meets water. Yeah, so the canal it looks pretty cool, um, but. And it is giving our poo somewhere else to go. It's like it is slowly flowing the right way. Actually, if we block off this way now, it should force all the poo back that way. Let's try that. And there we go. We've diverted the poo away to the lagoon to the south. Excellent news. So now we've got no worries about it getting into the pipes. All right. Oh, and already you can see just how quickly this area is cleaning itself up. I guess it's because we've got the game speed on Supermax, which is good for our wallet. Oh, my God. 
our bank balance and uh, and and good for the environment too what even is this structure so this map has a whole bunch of like really cool abandoned buildings and, and castles and stuff which kind of give it a bit more character and for a start i kind of came back to this game looked at this and thought i'd accidentally put something down over here but no don't worry it's just a piece of decoration and the same goes actually there was a house out in the middle of nowhere that's right here it is just chilling chilling like a villain and of course there's lighthouses and things dotted all around the coast too okay so last episode we unlocked a whole bunch of cool stuff that we want to kind of get into and start using. I put down also another incinerator. So our trash capacity, you can, this is a good way to check what the capacity is for your trash incinerators to see if you're actually burning more than you're producing. If you click on the trash icon, you can see we're making 120 units a week, but we're burning 180. And that's with the new incinerator down. So that's actually pretty good. That puts us in, in, in the right place. Eventually these landfills will be empty, I hope. Let's just start emptying them now, actually. And there we go, the incinerators now are filling back up to the brim with all that lovely, lovely trash. And I think you have to constantly do that. I think you might have to constantly toggle the landfills to fill up and then, uh, and then empty into the incinerators, but I don't know yet. I think maybe once the uh, landfills are full, all of the trash will go straight to the incinerators, which doesn't really matter as long as you have um, enough capacity there to keep burning through but now that when this is empty actually we could empty this one and we could destroy it you can uh, destroy a landfill once you've emptied it without any environmental impact which is pretty important all right so what are we going to do now what i really want to do is make use of the mass transit now we talked about blimp island which i think might be a great place to start but before i start with blimp island i need a transport hub somewhere for the blimps to actually go so we're going to slow down the game speed because I always get nervous when it's running super quick. If the game's running at like extra fast speed, it means if there's a problem and you don't catch it in time, you're going to be uh, you're going to be stuck, and uh, it might escalate before you can handle it or even realize it's going on, and half your city could be dead. Which, um, even though we're in Novo Splovo, is still a pretty bad thing. I mean, yes, it's harsh. Also, traffic's a bit of an issue for us now, so working on transit, transit and transport is a really good idea. In fact, let's take a look at the traffic report. Oh yeah, look at some of, that, some of those red lines. Now this is on the way to becoming busy. Obviously these points at the intersection are a busy place. I downloaded this intersection because it looked cool, but sometimes some of the things you can find in the marketplace aren't the most efficient ways to deal with traffic. I had to retrofit this one, as you can see. It used to be one road coming out, but I turned it into two, and that solved a lot of traffic problems for it. Also, yeah, looks like Lenin, the old Novo Splovo Square, with Lady Novo Splovo, has some traffic problems too, with this area here being a bit of a red hotspot. And red is a colour you just never want to see on your traffic report. Right, so what is a transport hub? Well, I did download something really cool on the assets section, and this is the Metro. That's right, now this is a real badass piece of kit. And if you take a closer look, I'll show you exactly what it is. So we're going to save the game, Novo Splovo. And then we're going to put it down, just so that we can take a closer look at exactly what this road system is and how it operates. Because the outline doesn't really give us a clear picture of what's going on. But if we build it, oh my god. Right, so underground, there is the in and out flow. Sure, whatever. But these here are the connections to the outside world. So you hook this up to the highway, and the buses can get into and out of this uh, this piece of kit. Now these are the underground sections of the road so people come in through here and it's one way so you have to go around this thing one way and then if you're a bus you come out at one of these locations you come up here and then you load up with passengers who have arrived here via footbridge. The buses can then stock up on people or a person can get on one bus and then move over to another bus to take that to their end location. But the best thing about this whole facility is it leaves a lot of space in the middle here where you can put services that are important to the metro like perhaps trams or underground subways. So you can have subway stations deliver here so people can subway to here and get a bus from here to exactly where they want to go. And this is a really cool system that works really well in real life actually. I mean I've been to a few hubs in my time where you get off the train and right there is a bus terminal and it works just so well. But how can we best utilize this and how can we hook this up to the outside world? 
Now this is a self-contained unit, so what that means is we don't need it to be connected to anything else. It doesn't need any uh, residential over here, it doesn't need anything else. It shouldn't need any services because there's not going to be any real buildings over here like Rico. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the game again. And here we are back into a world without that metro system. So we want to connect this to the highway that we have over here. But we want to do it intelligently. So let's take a look at some of the other intersections that we've downloaded that we can use to replace maybe some of these bulky, ugly ones. So this is a regular old intersection. But what this does is this gives us another way off of the highway to the north. And that's something that we can use to connect to the subway. So unfortunately, all of this beautiful little castle and things are going to have to go. But that reminds me actually, in the, in the uh, collection that we have for the city, there aren't that many nice little kind of props like this in the pack. So what I might do is might add to it tonight some extra little bits and bobs that we can beautify our Siberian wasteland with, with just like old bits of forgotten castle and mansions and stuff and broken up terrain that makes the whole area look a bit run down and a bit shinobly. So we're going to have to pause the game. Oh my god, yeah, I can see why there's a problem here. But if we can get a lot of this traffic off the road, we can fix things. So let's pause the game, save it first, because oh my god, when you mess up an intersection like this, you want to make sure you have something to fall back on. Let's pause the game and start trashing this place and come back to it when we've got our new intersection in place. Bam! Look at that. It fits like a glove. It looks... well, it's not quite as straight as I'd hoped for. It's not quite as jagged. We've got some curves there, which is not what Nova Splovens really agree with, but it looks like it works, which is pretty much the main concern. And what that means is we can drag the highway up here, and we've just unlocked this whole zone north of that highway. We're gonna have to watch this carefully because there could be traffic problems. Always when you make a big change to traffic, make a mental note of what you've done, Come back to it, check the traffic uh, reports, the traffic map, and make sure that stuff isn't going crazy on it and you, aren't, you haven't given yourself extra problems to deal with. Right, so let's see if we can put down, how much did that cost? That was £25,000, but it looks like it's uh, saved us a bit of money and somehow we are actually gaining residents. I'm not quite sure, but people keep moving in to Nova Splova. We're not building new houses, so these guys must be squatting in places, or maybe some of these uh, buildings are actually getting upgraded as the land value increases. But we're going to put down the metro now and let's see if we can get this to work. Bam! We've put it down. Okay, so we just have to hook up these roads over here and the whole metro system should be hooked up and ready to rock. Now I've also angled it near to the train line because what we can do is perhaps piggyback onto the train. So over here we can have maybe a train station. There's not much room for it, but I think maybe we can do that. Uh, and if that works, that'd be great. And have people use the train, perhaps, to get to some of the faraway places in the city. Like if we ever build over here, or say down here, using the train tracks, those things will come in really, really handy. Still no problems with the city. Ticking along at slow speed. Let's kick it into high gear. And try and connect up these roads. Yeah, now again, there's not many traffic problems down here. Everything looks like it's swimming along pretty well. I don't see any horrendous traffic jams. Alright, looks like we have a mission success over here. Right, so that's the metro system in place. I think next episode we're going to come back, add the bus routes that we need, maybe the train station, definitely the subway, and we're going to see if we can get this thing actually working like a proper city should. But before we go, I want to spend some of this cash since I'm so flush. Let's put down some really impressive mother truckers. So we're going to go to unique buildings. And, oh baby, now there's some real bad boys in here. The Opera House. It's 1,600 a week, uh, but it does bring visitors. People near and far come to it. It's a bit big. What's this? Camaroo? Don't even know what that is. It's expensive. But it's quite big too. But you know what? The biggest... Ooh, what's this? Expo Center? We don't want that. High Interest Tower. Companies like to have offices in it because of a lovely view. Requirement for building the medical center. Whoa, oh my god. This thing's freaking huge. Oh, it almost fits exactly. Oh, it does fit perfectly here. In the residential zone. Oh man, do we want to park this thing right here? What's its cost? 1,600 a week. 
But what does it do? It's got visitors. So parking it so close to this, uh, this roundabout might be a bad idea. However, oh, I don't know. What we're going to do now, we're going to roll back because I want to put down the Soviet City Hall. This thing's a beast. It's only 480 a week. It costs half a mil. But oh my god, we got cash to splash, and we're going to park it right next to the Novo Splovo city sign. Check it out. Wait, no, look at this. this so there's a catchment area around here. It's going to up the land value of somewhere. So we want to put this next to some really nice houses, don't we? Maybe. Ah, screw it. I'm putting it here. I don't care. It's got a low cost per week, and it looks freaking beautiful. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that symbol. I don't even know what that says. Something in Russian? Oh, probably. But this is a, this is a thing to behold. Right next to the Novo Splovo sign. Welcome, comrade, to Novo Splovo. Oh, man, if there's ever been a screenshot that shows off our city, it's this one right here. That is beautiful. Let's check the land value on that, actually. Whoa, hang on a sec. No, that's just general happiness. Where's land value? So it hasn't really affected the land value too much. Oh man, this, this area is picking up though pretty well. And let's just double check how things are going with our sewage problem. Oh, okay. So the, the water is flowing around this way, but it's still nowhere near our water inlet, which is pretty good news. Oh man, right. So thanks for watching City Skylines and join us next episode when we hit the metro and hook up a subway, maybe a train and maybe some buses. And let's get this city in motion. Take care.